Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Duskmos, and as you can tell, I'm here with a very mirrored, very cool version of the black hole symmetry from Collision Devices. So as you can tell in this very shiny, very limited edition uh, version of this pedal, um, it's a little hard to see exactly what's going on, um, on camera anyway, because of this crazy finish. And uh, you can see me there. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> but um, yeah, this is definitely going to be a fun one. And I'm going to shoot at a slightly different angle uh, than we're used to here. So let's check it out. Okay, so here we are in this new angle. So as you can see, there's a lot of knobs going on here um, and some foot switches. The furthest one on the left is the fuzz bypass, um, middle is reverb bypass, and the far right is the delay bypass. And I love that you have independent control of each of these so you can use just a piece of the pedal or two of the three or all three at the same time. It's cool. Um, it definitely gives you a little bit more flexibility instead of just being an all on or all off kind of affair. So over here you've got modulation and speed of modulation controls for the delay, um, as well as feedback control for the delay. Over here is time for the delay and mix for the delay. Um, so these are the kind of major um, delay controls. These four smaller knobs are for the reverb, and you've got basically a decay length here with this uh, echo knob. Uh, radiance is sort of like a shimmer, pitch is the pitch of that shimmer, and then this is a mix control for uh, the reverb. This big fat knob in the middle is for the fuzz control and it's aptly named Disintegrate, which is <laughs> pretty cool. Also, I'm super into the names for each of the effects, um, like fuzz is called Singularity, Event Horizon is the reverb, and Ergosphere is the delay. Pretty cool stuff. So a little bit about how this is set up. I've got the black hole symmetry on an insert point on the Analog 4 Mark II from Electron. Um, so that's coming in to the, the black hole symmetry out back into the analog four and then out to the TX6 from TNA Engineering and then out to my camera. So what you're gonna hear is um, just one sound being affected by the black hole symmetry on the analog four. Um, the others are gonna be unmodified. Um, so let's go ahead and play it. This is it clean. So this is the synth part that's gonna be impacted by the black hole symmetry. And then otherwise we've just got a kick. And a little atmosphere. And I'll just bring those in and out as we go. Okay, so now that we hear it clean, um, let's go ahead and try some black hole symmetry. So first we'll start with just the reverb. So already you can hear it's a like an octave up shimmer mode right now with the really short decay. So we can extend the decay by upping that echo knob. Make it really long. change the pitch then go down but I like it octave up you can change the radiancy here so you can hear a little less shimmer Or go up all the way. I think I'm hitting it a little hard. There we go. Adjust the level a little bit. You can back that down a little. So you're yeah, really cool. I'm going to go ahead and bypass that. 
So we're back to clean now. Then we're gonna try the ergosphere for the delay. Really nice sound, it's got that analog tape style kind of sound. Mix in a little more. Right now modulation is turned off until feedback is up a little bit because we're getting multiple repeats. You can push it into self oscillation. Which is always fun to do. Real nice. Up the modulation amount. So you hear the pitch getting wobbly. You can go really extreme too. modulation is pretty wild. So bring that down, keep it a little more normal. Is that some reverb? So now I get a little both. Really nice. I'm gonna add the kick. the time knob and you get some of that again kind of tape style pitch adjustment I'll turn off the reverb so you can hear when you have a really tight delay sort of Approaches reverb territory. You can get that kind of almost like comb filter kind of sound when you shorten it. More evident on some sounds than others. Okay, I'm gonna bypass the delay now and we're just gonna go straight in for the fuzz. Let's hear it. You can hear when fuzz is engaged, this main uh, disintegrate knob controls the output as well. You can kind of rein things in a little bit if you want. You can add reverb. And delay back.
it's got a really good sound. Go ahead and bypass it. for example but the remnants of that sound stay in the reverb and delay so you can see i kind of just like naturally faded it out by bypassing um, i'll do it again so you can pay attention to it this time check it out so engage obviously It's just really smooth, really clean. So I feel like you could totally like blend that into almost like, I don't know, like a drop kind of moment. Like you could like bring some stuff in and out at the same time. Let's try it. Pretty cool. You can get pretty crispy with the disintegrate if you want. tighter decay on the reverb. quite a bit. Reverb too. But we're going to up the feedback a lot. So you get that kind of crazy background oscillation happening.
Always a fun trick. Bypass the delay. Turn the radiance all the way down. And there you go, that is the Collision Devices Black Hole Symmetry. A lot of fun with the three different layers of sound manipulation. Um, you can really take this on a journey, and I think it has a really cool character. I like the combination, I like the voicings of all the effects they've chosen. Uh, really cool. I love a good tape style delay and a shimmer reverb, um, and then you throw in the fuzz in there. A lot of fun, really cool pedal. But yeah, that's it for me this week. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.